new videos every day. Hi, this is Dr. Vince Bolanzi. This time I want to talk to you about excitotoxins. Now the exciting part is good because we're talking about your reward system. You've got a lot of chemicals in your body that satisfy you and excite you, and that's the good part. The toxin part is what I want to talk about tonight. Now there are some substances in your body. I'm going to talk about glutamate and aspartate. These are two neurotransmitters or amino acids, but they're part of your reward system. You get them in your foods, you manufacture them in your body, and they do a lot of good things for you. The problem starts when somebody isolates these particular things and gives them to you in concentration. One thing in particular I want to talk about is MSG. You probably know what that is. It's been on the news. It's very prevalent. In fact, it's so prevalent, that's why I'm talking to you about it now. It's something that was discovered years ago, and they found that it enhanced the taste of food. So they got this great idea. When babies weren't eating very well, they would put the MSG in the food, and the babies would be more excited about eating, in a sense. And then they started putting it in almost everything. You can make dirt taste good with MSG. The glutamate actually excites your reward system. So you get this excitatory stimulus to your brain, and you think whatever you're eating just is the best thing that you've ever had. Think about a soup or something that you had that had MSG. That's why the restaurants put it in there. It actually excites your brain. The problem is it's also toxic. In small amounts like you would get it naturally, it's a good thing. But in the large amounts that you get it in your foods and in all the different additives that, or places where it's used as an additive, additive, it's going to cause damage to the neurons. And even if it doesn't damage the neurons, what we find in the clinic is it can cause a lot of mental problems, especially with autistic kids or people that are having, even as adults, problems with control or focus. The glutamate or the aspartate actually excite the brain and give you a loss of control because it's overexciting the nerve impulses and suddenly you can't even control your emotions. If you're an autistic child, it makes a bad situation worse. You can no longer communicate. So it's not a good thing in the high concentration that it comes in. Another problem is because is that people, the way that they're eating these days, they don't get the nutrients that they need. Well, what gives you control are certain substances in your diet. There are three what are called branch chain amino acids. So if you're not eating the correct amounts of protein, you're not going to have anything else to compete with the absorption of the glutamate, and it's going to be stronger acting. If you're lacking things like magnesium or other nutrients, you're not going to have control either because the glutamate is going to run wild. One nutrient in particular that a lot of people are encouraged to take is calcium. Well, calcium can actually potentiate or make the glutamate work even stronger. So if I'm already out of control and I use glutamate, things are going to be even more out of control, and I add calcium, and it, it comes down to changing the balance of nutrients inside and outside the cell, but what it means for you is you can't control your emotions. Had a number of patients that are severely affected by MSG. We talked about chemical sensitivity in the past, but glutamate and aspartate are two things that are very prevalent. Again, you've probably seen MSG on the label. Aspartate, when I'm talking about that, how many of you have ever tried NutraSweet? It's part of NutraSweet. It's the reason that you get the good sensations from using that chemical sweetener. So you're eating these things, whether you know it or not, I hope you'll pay attention, and they're causing you to lose control. So why do you think that the food industry uses MSG? The truth is, like I told you, you can make dirt taste good with MSG. Think about something like a chicken McNugget. Do you think that if you just saw a chicken McNugget there and it didn't have MSG in it, you'd think there was much taste? Probably not. It's the MSG that causes that McNugget to taste so good. It's not that it's so, such good food. It's that the excitatory neurotransmitter has hit your brain and told you that that McNugget was good. The food industry loves that. You'll eat more. You'll buy more. You'll do whatever they tell you to do because they've filled everything with MSG. The problem comes when the MSG starts affecting you. Like I said, it can cause damage. But the other thing it does is it upsets your balance of other neurotransmitters. Let, let's take an example. Do you know how they make mice to study diabetes and obesity? They need fat mice, right? They overload them with MSG. You feed the mice MSG, they not only overeat, but it actually causes an imbalance that makes them fat mice. And then you've got something that you can use to study obesity and diabetes. 
So what do you think the MSG does to people? The same thing. Why do you think the food industry wants to use it? Because they can get you to eat almost anything. They can get you to eat things that have no nutrients, that are cheap to manufacture, and you'll keep on eating them. You'll eat more than you really think that you should because you've lost the ability to think in a way. So the glutamate's exciting your reward system. You're eating the junk that they can give you for almost no money. It's depleting your nutrients. You're becoming more malnourished, and it just drives itself. So be more careful about what you eat. Start looking at those labels for the MSG. And the same thing goes for the aspartate, the aspartic acid. That NutraSweet, just because it has no calorie value, doesn't mean it's good for you. It's doing the same thing. You put NutraSweet in something cheap, and it'll make you eat it. As an example, we work with autistic children, and we've had a number of these kids who are really having a problem. Now remember, autism is a case where the child just can't communicate. They don't have the correct sensations. They can't talk. And in many cases, it's a communication problem. You add MSG to that picture, and you add a little bit of calcium, and you make a bad situation worse. For example, we had a child who wasn't able to speak, pretty severely autistic, and everybody thought there was nothing that could be done. We started cleaning up that child's diet, in particular taking away chemicals like MSG and aspartic acid. When we did that, the child was able to speak again. Just that one factor made a huge difference in the child's ability to use their brain. And that's where the breakdown is in autism. I'll give you another example. We had a woman suffering from everything from fibromyalgia to lupus, a number of problems. The main concern was, though, she had severe headaches. And she had to take pretty strong medication to control those headaches. Her diet wasn't all that good. We started by cleaning up her diet. As soon as we got the MSG or the glutamate out of her diet in that high concentration, her migraine headaches disappeared. So did her lupus reaction. So obviously, those artificial chemicals that they put in your food can be reacted to. In fact, we all react to them. We just tend to get accommodated to it. Watch kids for a while. If you look at a child, you'll see how they're affected even by high doses of sugar. As you grow up, you start ignoring some of these things, but the kids react to it. So watch the kids. See how they react to stuff. And maybe you'll think twice about eating it yourself. So let's talk about fast food. I don't eat fast food. I avoid it at all costs. Why? Because it's loaded with these chemicals. Because there's no nutrient density. It's not good for you. I'm not saying you can never eat it. That'd probably be the best case. But you want to avoid the glutamate and the aspartate and all the things that they add to that food. And you want to get the nutrients that you're not going to get when you eat fast food. So it's going to cause problems if you eat it. It's going to cause obesity. It will cause depression and other mental problems. The fast food is not of any benefit to you. So avoid it at all costs and take care of yourself. Okay, so glutamate and aspartate are natural. Your body makes them. But in the form of MSG or NutraSweet, they're concentrated and they're dangerous. You have to be wary of labels where you see MSG or hydrolyzed protein. Remember that soy, especially soy products, have a high amount of glutamate. You may not do, be doing the best thing if your entire protein intake are soy products, tofu and such. You want to be able to avoid the excitatory neurotransmitters that are coming in concentrated amounts in those foods. So watch out for the junk food. Be careful with things like soy products. And any place that you see any form of MSG or chemical sweeteners. So this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. If you have any questions, please check out my website, www.bewellrx.com. It's been a pleasure to be with you. Mm -hmm.